I left Pearl Bay this morning and uh, I'm off to Ireland Head. Yeah. You go along, first of all I went beach combing and now I've come to this rugged headland here. And uh, some beautiful shapes in the rock. Ireland Head is uh, just up there before all that headland I have to turn in. Lovely day today. When I was beachcombing yesterday along there, I'll try and find somewhere nobody else has been, and I uh, found this, which is a uh, Zoomy boy. A Zuni boy. And it's got an address on it. Uh, so I'll show when I get to uh, up to Whit Sundays and get on the computer and in the internet, I'll uh, give them a call on Skype. Might be worth a few bucks to them. The entrance to Island Head, there's just a catamaran going in there. And uh, there'll be a fair few boats in here. I've just got to go around the rock in the uh, foreground there and then I'm uh, safe to go in. It's best if you keep towards the uh, starboard side as you go in this place. I want the chart says. Going down just with a jib. My uh, auto helm wouldn't work this morning. There must be a little bit of moisture in it somewhere. And you know, I uh, scrubbed the board last last year because it wouldn't go. And that's the trouble. They last about a couple of months and then. Uh, they somehow go wrong again, so I'll have to uh, boil up a bit of water and make a bit of distilled water and scrub it with a clean toothbrush again. Last year I anchored uh, in Island Head down at the entrance here, but uh, due to the weather today, and uh, we're going right up the top, past those boats and, and find a nice anchorage way up. I think we're going to go right up the top and dry out and walk on the sand this afternoon. Just making my way towards the top of Island Head to try and find a bit of shelter. Away, out of the wind. Blowing about 20 knots today and they reckon tomorrow is going to be 25 and uh, the next day is 25, so I'd like to find somewhere where I can uh, shelter and just do a bit of crabbing, maybe. Well, it's a miserable day today. I'm in Island Head Creek, and I've been up at the top in the mangroves, and uh, I'm uh, heading on down now to back to the uh, entrance where there's some sand so I can go for a walk. I'm getting cabin fever. That's a view of what it looks like. Pretty, uh, it's been heavy rain earlier on. Just a little bit of rain now. And uh, it's about uh, three miles, I suspect, down here to the entrance again. I'm going down, it's about half tide. Just going down with my uh, jib. I've been, uh, I'll be anchored up here just for two days where I am. Uh, it's a strong wing warning at the moment. Uh, 20 to 25 knots, gusting 30. And uh, I want to get to the Percy's, but uh, not in that weather, I'm not leaving. My autopilot at the moment has uh, got damp in it and stopped working, so. Uh, I've taken it apart and I uh, put it under the kettle under the steam and try to clean it a bit and I'm hoping that I'll be able to get it working before I uh, leave Island Head but at the moment it's uh, not all it go, all I get out of it is a spork. There's a catamaran here called Easy Rider. I think it's from Brisbane. It's got a couple on board. Haven't met them yet. Hope to swap a video with them tonight. And uh, there's one other person in the bay, uh, 
on this boat over here. And uh, I don't know his name, he's an old fella on there on his own. Similar to me, he'd be about, uh, I reckon, 65 years of age. He's uh, obviously on his uh, flat north. I'm walking along a piece of beach I don't think anybody's uh, walked along for quite a while so I'm going to walk right along to that headland which will be about a mile away. Tide's coming in, I just hope I don't get cut off, there's about three metre tides here so if there is I'll just have to walk back to here and uh, just sit on the grass and wait till the tide goes out. That's what beach combing's about, go where nobody else has been and uh, you might find something. You know, like everything, just as I uh, get here, I think by the time to turn around, there's something really interesting at the end. Uh, at least it looks interesting, so I'm going to have to go all the way to the rocks. Uh, a cyclone came through here and blew all the trees down along the shore here and undermined the uh, sand. And behind you can see all the trees have lost all their uh, limbs. Came through at about 180 mile an hour along here. Well, I've made it to the uh, other end of the beach and uh, just look at those trees that are just broken off by the cyclone. Uh, I think it's Arbu. Uh, and uh, what I was looking at was uh, I thought the dinghy was that rock there, just uh, on the beach, because I thought, well, it's a bit strange that something's that far on the beach, but uh, anyway, it's a bloody rock. I'm going to have a look out around the back here, because the tidal surge was uh, probably about two meters, two or three meters here, so I'm just going to have a look into the bush there and see if I can see anything. I th thought I might be the first person here, but uh, no, that, that didn't get put on there, that tag by nature, so it says two hour uh, anchor limit, so I'll just have a look where it is from. I don't know if you can see there, it says mooring advice for users, and then it says two hour limit applies. Marine Parks Authority, New South Wales. So this has come all the way from New South Wales up to uh, North Queensland with the, uh, with the with prevailing winds. Tidal surge came through here. Look how it cracked off these trees. These are hoop pine trees. They're very strong trees, these are. Here we are. Just coming back to the boat now. It's blowing, must be about 25 knots at the moment. And uh, there I am anchored on a lee shore. But uh, I wanted to go for a walk, so just had to take a bit of a risk. But uh, there's not many other places to anchor. I can go around the other side, but it's a bit rougher. I think I've got a bit of protection from that island. I don't know till I get back there. Well, I'm just heading out of uh, Island Head Creek. Weather forecast today is 15 to 20 knots from the southeast. Uh, rain, uh, a 70% chance. Uh, my auto helm is uh, not working. The bloody thing's got water in it, I think, and uh, wouldn't work, work this morning, so I'm hoping that it will dry out. I've uh, got a bag around it, but we'll see. Luckily, it's in the middle position, so I get a bit of uh, respite for a few minutes. Well, I came back into uh, Ireland Head. I went out there and there was no wind and uh, needed to go and uh, pouring down with rain. So I thought, well, I'll come back and uh, lick my wounds and try another day. So I'm going to have another go at getting my autopilot going, which is sitting on my table here in bits. And uh, I'm going to try a bit of al isoprol and al alcohol and see if I can... Uh, find out where the little moisture is. Bugger if I can see any moisture in it, but uh, 
there's got to be a bit somewhere because uh, when the sun comes out it works and then when the uh, sun when it's dull and rainy it won't work well I've rubbed the card with a bit of uh, isoprol and uh, the compass looks to have a bit of water in it but there's no corrosion at all so I'm going to try and dry it out on top of my toaster now and uh, put it back together the old motor it was out of a other one and uh, because the other motor had worn out the brushes were wearing out now I'm put an old motor that had only done probably a month so uh, the motor's good maybe look a bit rusty but it works pretty okay well I'm going to dry it out on the toaster put it back together I may put a bit of rice inside the uh, casing this time in desperation and see if I can get it to work put it back together and in desperation I put a bit of rice inside it to uh, see if that can soak the moisture out of it I'm leaving Ireland Head for the second time. Uh, yesterday though it was pouring with rain and not much wind and I thought well wow, 54 miles with not much wind and pouring with rain on no auto helm I thought oh but you know it was a bit much so a bit depressed about that so I turned back and came in and anchored and uh, I had another go at getting the auto helm going and uh, with a bit of success uh, it's going today and uh, yeah, so things are looking up. I just hope I can keep it going. Yeah, the channel going out of uh, Island Head Creek, uh, you have to go fairly close to this rock. Uh, there's a sandbank in the middle of this uh, uh, thing. You can either go, either go either side of it. I always seem to choose this way. And uh, it looks fairly good out there today and uh, I may even get a little bit of sun I hope I'm, I'm doing about three and a half at the moment I hope when I get out there there might be a little bit more wind and I can bump up to four there's not going to be much wind because they reckon about ten knots so going downwind it's uh, ten knots is not enough really so it might be a long day might have arrived at the Percy's in the dark Middle Percy. I'm just going to go into West Bay on Middle Percy Island. I've uh, started off about seven this seven this morning, and uh, oh, there you go. That's the end of that. And uh, I'll be uh, arriving about six o'clock this evening. Fifty-four miles. Sail all the way here with the uh, helming. Bloody autopilots uh, won't work at the moment. I think it must be a bit of rice stuck down on the compass or something. I'll uh, have a look tonight and uh, I'm going to stay here a night and have a walk up over the island, I believe. This is uh, West Bay on. Percy Island. It's kind of a stopping place for uh, quite a lot of uh, cruising yachts, especially in the past. Uh, it's getting very popular now, but uh, more boats are cruising up here, so it's thing. But uh, there's a hut in front there, and uh, it's uh, got everybody's boat name in that uh, cruising boats over the years. It's uh, Quite a uh, sight when you go up there and have a look at the, all the names. I've never put mine in there because I think uh, cruising nowadays up here is a lot different than it was, say, 10 years ago. <laughs> 